And that's what you got to do sometimes. You know, you, you're at these higher levels. You expect people to always be getting contact onto the ball. I mean, that's the reason why fakes are so effective, because you always expect someone to hit the ball. You don't expect people to not do that. And mm -hmm. continue to sat there and just went, but if he does, I'm going <laughs> to take advantage. And that's a good mindset to have. Continuum sat down there and poaches himself a win. It's all about that option coverage, you know? It, it's... It's knowing that those situations can happen. A mistake could happen. And I'm going to make sure that I can get back if it doesn't. But if it does, I'm there to capitalize on it. Well, and even if it doesn't go out for him, Continuum sat there. He's already got two people sat behind him in defense. He doesn't need to start heading back. So when you mention it like that, yeah, take the extra option. Give yourself something else to do rather than just covering something that your teammates are already doing. Well, we'll see if game number two is going to be or three, sorry, is going to be anything like game number two there. Copenhagen Flames got a little bit a little bit dominated in the first one. They did come back into game number two and managed to get two goals and bring it to a two-minute overtime. Um, holding the lead the most of the time. Big with the pass up. Waffle almost to finish. Mungus gets in the middle of that one and splits them up. But those are the, those are the chances I like to see here. And they didn't commit their third in. The third respected the chance of a save there and a counterattack from Secrecy and stayed back. And I like to see that CPH playing a lot smarter now. And great clears like that are definitely what they're going to want to be looking for because they had trouble breaking out last time. Yeah, and I'm actually happy to see that they're now waiting to see what Secrecy are putting together before moving to it. In the very first game, whenever the ball moved, they seemed to try and move with it. And that didn't work. Instead of trying to catch the ball as it came towards them, they're actually waiting for where the ball's going to be and then playing it. And that's meaning that they're saving boost. They're in better positions to try and play the ball. It just generally is working out so much better for them. They now just need to get that extra step forward and pick up that win. You're right. It's smart. I mean, if you're just always trying to chase the play, oh, that's going to happen. Great. What a passing play coming out from Secrecy, putting the first one in in game number three. Secrecy, <laughs> that was absolutely sublime. What a great pass from Metzenaris over to his teammate in the form of Magnus, who just gives it back to him in the perfect position. I have nothing else to say to that apart from I loved it. No, that was great. Monus coming back on the cherry pick. He's been practicing. Sends that one to the far side for Mets. And uh, he just finds that top corner. Beautiful. Can they give it another one in here? Almost. I don't know how Bake was able to, to read that one and, and stop it. Because they had two people going for it and trying to get a touch to each other. Can they get a counterattack, though? Saxon a little bit too off of the net. Can't answer that last goal passing play of their own wasn't as magnificent as we saw from secrecy Mognus the only one being sent up continuing will try to read it off the wall it gets sent back towards that orange end as the passing play comes out Saxon can't get the touch if you got that to the corner bake wasn't a good spot let's put that one towards the net there's one for Saxon on net Whoa. what an angle from Saxon and an answer for CPH so the lack of immediate goals that we've had in the first minute, like we did in the first two games, has been replaced by two sublime goals. Lovely pass from Waffle, but Saxon, he doesn't even really use the air roll, just puts himself into the air and just goes, yeah, I know. Like he just, I think he stopped looking at the screen at that point. He's like, I know it's in. I don't have to do anything else. He just backs off. That was such a good touch using the underside to re-angle, re to angle that one towards the net, uh, just incredible answer. And you're right, I'm okay with a lack of goals uh, if every single one of them turns out what we've seen so far. Both these goals, fantastic plays from both these teams, utilizing each other with the passes. And I'm excited to see what the next one's gonna look like now as CPH tries to get an attack. Smart there from Waffle to back off, gets up quickly when he notices he has a chance. That possession comes out of the hands of Secrecy. There's a passing play chance here. Saxon, can he put another one in front of the net? Mongus will be able to react to that one in time, get it back to the midfield. But now CPH is kind of holding the pressure on a midfield. They have an open net. That was a chance for Waffle. And I think he reacted a little bit too quickly. Could have had a shot there, but they will have to try again as they end up back down to their own end. And right now, Secrecy and Copenhagen Flames, they're just into a little zone of just passing it between each other. They're trying to find something to come together. Although this could be dangerous. Mongus gets himself up high, but blocked by Saxon. Saxon seemed to me... Like, he wasn't quite feeling it. Like, the team wasn't quite aware of how to play with him in that first game. But ever since then, he is looking so much better. And in this third game, I've really enjoyed watching him play. It's the warm-ups. And I said at the beginning, they just didn't look like they're warmed up at all. And now they're feeling this field fairly well. And all their touches coming through 
pretty strong and on target now. Um, as as you're right, Saxon is just feeling good on this lineup uh, of Waffle and Bake, and uh, I'm, I'm wondering if they can get one here. They do have a good rotation coming on. A shot was on target, but it was stopped out there by the defense. This is a chance now. Mognus will have to clear that one hard. He does. Waffle can't put that one on target. Mets has a chance for clear and a counterattack, but Waffle stuffs that one out quickly with a demo. Good recognition on the chance to stop that attack there with a the demo. It's very smart, and I, I've seen a few now. Waffle in a weird spot, though. Just puts that to the side, gets some possession there. No chance for secrecy to put on that. To the far oh. side, the passing plays. Mongness couldn't connect. Good defense there from CPH, keeps that one out. Yeah, but that really just shows you now what type of level we're playing at. Where a mistake like that from Waffle, where he just couldn't control the ball in the way that he wanted to, immediately gave away all pressure. Secrecy tried to power forward. They almost put together a lovely passing play yet again. Just didn't quite get the finish, but that's a little threat there. That's a little yeah, it's not shot. dead yet. That's on target. Mognus couldn't get there in time. That was so close to stopping that overtime. But once again, we see another overtime between Secrecy and Copenhagen Flames. But Copenhagen is looking just as strong as Secrecy at this moment. Um, we'll just, just got to make sure they don't make a mistake because Secrecy seems to be very good at punishing. Yeah, Secrecy, they've been in the position last game. Copenhagen Flames, they made the mistake last time. You know, it wasn't something amazing that Secrecy put together to put it away. And they might have made it again. You don't Ooh. pass in front of your own net. <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit awkward there. And if either one of those guys had missed, that was a goal. It was a good passing play was on. But Mognus was back. He was just watching. Look, they're not committing too hard to anything. They know that two of their players can get a play started up like that. And they just have to be patient with it. But there's a chance. Bink couldn't put that one in as the pass from Saxon came out just a little bit too far off that crossbar. And now, Secrecy has a chance to move the other way. They can't seem to create a counterattack. Playing patient, that's going to be it! It's going to sneak past Metz, and Saxon will get a goal on that one. I don't know how the defender didn't get it. Well, we see that over here, and Saxon just goes for it early. I don't think Metz even thought to himself for a second that Saxon was going to go for a shot. I mean, from that position, you're... At least right in thinking in your head, head that just going, all right, he's going to play off the wall, and I've got to turn myself around and get ready for the rebound shot from one of the other players. Instead, mm -hmm. Saxon just says, no, that's mine right now. And I don't think anyone expected that shot to be taken as quickly as it was.